still I told you when we started this angle stuff yesterday we're working our way up to tree stuff in this unit so today's kind of our last review over geometry stuff and so we until Monday we start mixing it up and getting into some tricks so this is pretty easy first period did real good on all this so we'll go so I had it connected and then just disconnected we'll go somewhat quick So first thing we're going to do there is talk about angle relationships. So I'm going to um, try to put them all on here. And you remember seeing this stuff in geometry. When you've got your two parallel lines cut by a transversal line, and then that produces all different kinds of angle relationships. So the first one that we're going to label on here are our alternate interior angles. And before we start labeling where our, where our alternate interior angles are, we need to know that they're specific relationship is that they're equal. If you can find alternate interior angles, you can set them equal to each other. So I'm going to put a little equal sign out there so I know that alternate interior angles are equal. Those words, alternate, tells you that they jump on alternating sides of the transversal. Interior tells you that it's in between the parallel lines on the inside. So inside the parallel lines, if I name this one angle one, its alternate interior angle would be that one there, right? Opposite sides of the transversal inside. So I know one and two are equal because they're alternate interior angles. I could also we'll name this one three. It would be alternate interior with four. So three and four would be alternate interior angles. Could I have any more alternate interior angles? Rachel's the only one that knows. Could I have any more alternate interior angles? Good chases on board? No, because that's all the ones that are interior. So you got that covered. All right, then we will talk about alternate exterior. Exter alternate exterior angles are also equal, so I'll put the equal sign there and know we can set them equal to each other. Alternate exterior angles alternate on the transversal, same as before, but they're on the outside of the uh, parallel lines. They're exterior, they're outside. So let's see, on number five. Five here would be an alternate exterior with this one down here. Five and six would be equal. And if I name this one seven, it would be alternate interior with that one. Seven and eight would be equal. Okay, this is easy. Y'all remember this. Y'all did good on this in geometry. Uh, corresponding angles. Come over here and write corresponding. Corresponding angles are also equal. Now, don't get in your mind that every pair of these relationships are going to be equal because they're not. Corresponding angles are also equal. The way I say corresponding in my dumb words is that they're in the same spot. So like if I go to the top left of the top parallel line, correspond will be the top left of the bottom parallel line that way. They're in the same spot on their own line. So we'll just start with the one I just said. Five, angle five, would correspond with angle four. Right? Okay, tell me the rest of them. What would seven correspond with? Okay, one. Oh, well, you went a different way than me. Go, I already wrote one. Go to one. One, eight. Good. Now, now listen. Three, six. Is that it? Any other corresponding? Everybody good on that? Easy, good. All right, uh, vertical angles. This is probably one of the most common ones that I see a lot. Vertical angles are also equal, so we're sticking to the equal theme for right now. Vertical, V-E-R-T, vertex, V-E-R-T, vertical angle share a vertex. So that vertex would be this thing right here. So they share that vertex. They back up to each other. So Chase, go ahead and tell me some. Five, three. Five, three are vertical. One, seven are vertical. Four, six. Four, six. And eight, two. Okay, everybody good on vertical? 
see that in the lights. All right, now interior angles. Oh, I didn't know that went below the screen, but it was 82. Y'all knew that, right? Okay, interior angles. This one doesn't have a short, catchy name. Interior angles on same side. Oh, what am I writing as? I want to write on same side. Same side of transversal. All right, so interior angles that are on the same side of the transversal, these are not equal. These have a sum of 180 degrees. So this is our first scenario we're looking at where it's not equal. So first period started going crazy telling me angles that added to 180 degrees, and there are a lot of them. Because you know a straight line makes 180 degrees. So I could, for example, know that angle 1 and angle 5 add to 180 degrees. But they don't, that's not this category because they're not interior angles there. Okay, so when we're listing this, yes, there are more, but I'm looking specifically for the interior angles that are on the same side. So, one, four, very good. What else? Interior and on the same side? Three, two. Three, two. What else? One, three, good. I thought I might trick some people. Rachel didn't let me. And then the last one? Four, two. Four, two. She went horizontal on those. Very good. Now, like I just said, those aren't the only ways you can add to 180, but that's that meets that specific criteria. You know, anything on a straight line adds to 180. All right, get that, and then we'll, I'll throw you a new picture, and we'll actually find out some angle measures. Woo! about angle 2 is that it is 9x plus 9 degrees. What I know about angle 3 is that it is 7x minus 5 degrees and there's angle 4. So my directions for this say find the measures of angles 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we don't care about all the rest of them, we're just worried about those four that I label. Find the measures of angles 1, 2, 3, and 4. What could we start with? What do we know we could go with here? Okay, go ahead. Okay, good. How would we try to do that? Okay, good. Chase said it while I was back there. These are interior on the same side, so they add to 180. Right? So this one plus this one. So that some, you correct me, some equal to 180. Oh, connection lost. Sorry, sucker. I think Right now it's not bad because Kirsten's not over there, but I'm in the way too much of the time. And the scoreboard has been acting dumb. Maybe not too good. So angle two plus angle three equals 180. Combine those good old like terms. We can do this faster than Tyler did in six minutes. That'll be 16x plus 4. Now what would we do? Uh-huh. 16x is 176. X is 11. Is that right? One, one. I think I should have. Check me out. Been a long day. Hey, I got one. Alright. Well, 16 will go into 17 once. Okay. And it's got one left over, so 16 again. Yeah, see, you can do that. You just don't believe that you can, so you first try this. And it makes me want to crush them all and not give you one. She's hugging me. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right. What do we do now? That it? Circle it? You're done? Oh, plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. Uh, which one do you want to go, Grace? Two. Two. Nine times 11. 99. 99 plus 9. Yeah. <laughs> 
Good, good effort. Eight, 108. Yes. So this will be 108 degrees. Just try to make y'all do mental math and you panic. <laughs> no five in there. All right, now you can angle three a couple different ways. You could go ahead and plug your 11 in here. 72. Very good mental math. Yeah. Or you could just subtract from 180. Either way, you get 72. So either of those are smart word again there. That would work. 72. All right. Now, you just got to fill in. You know you're changing three. You got to fill in your one and your four. And all, I tried to get first period to see this, and I think only one or two of them did. Every angle on this thing now will have to be one of those two. Okay. What's 108? One is 108. One is 108. Because it's vertical. Four is 108. Tell me one reason why four is 108. Because it's the alternate exterior. Alternate exterior. That would work. What would, it, would there be another one? Eh, that, we haven't talked about that yet, but it is. What is four in relationship to two? What was it called? They don't share a vertex. No, because this one's exterior. Uh, what? Starts with C. Oh. Corresponding. Corresponding. It's in the bottom left. This is in the bottom left. Oh. Or that's my right. <laughs> this is in the bottom right. This is in the bottom right. But it's still <laughs> corresponding. <laughs> my math teacher doesn't know right in there. This is left. When you're facing that way, yeah. but you're facing the other way. See, that's why the confusion came in. Hey, $467.29 was what the fundraiser raised. I thought you were about to say that was just deducted from your account. You know, Whoa! On your account. I was like, Whoa. <laughs> Pro, here you go, Keston. Progeria. P R O G E R I A. That was the foundation they raised money for. Um, Google it. Make good on that? Easy schmeasy. Two A progressive genetic disorder that causes children to age rapidly. There you go. Oh, also known yeah. as what'd she say? Oh, you know that um like Benjamin girl her name's Adalia. Adalia Rose, she's like famous. I don't know who that is. She has she's a, a little girl that looks like a little bitty old lady. Yeah, like she's like eleven, and she looks like she's fifty. Something. It's really sad. That is indeed. Like this is what she looks like. It's not even real looking. Ah, it looks like an alien. Don't make no sound like that. It's so nice. <laughs> He's under making alien sound effects. Oh, gosh, that would be. No, 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 I feel That is technically how it works. So this is 9, 10, 109 <laughs> plus x is equal to 180. Uh, minus and then subtract the 109. Good. And Caleb is saying 71. So angle x would be 71. So just easy review. You did good on the stuff in geometry. Now, based on angle sizes, oh, I'm not worried about these side links, I'm only talking about these things. How would that triangle classify? What would its name be based on those angles? Oh, acute. Very good, Keston. So we can classify triangles based on angles 
and based on sides. Angles, it's an acute triangle if all three angles are acute, less than 90. Okay, what's, uh, what if I have an angle that is 90? One angle equals 90. It starts with the I. It's a right triangle. It's a right, very good. A right triangle. You're, you're going to be down here in this category in a minute. What if I have, what if I have one angle that is, oh, I'm trying to write angle symbol and then I want a greater than symbol and that's fixing to blow people's mind. Do the little curve so you know if it's an angle because it has a thing in it. Uh, I know what you're talking about now. One angle that is greater than 90. Look at Grace using some math symbols. What is it called if I have one angle that is greater than 90? Obtuse. Very good. So we can classify triangles based on their angle measure. Now their sides. Can you still see that? What would that be based called based on its sides? Very good. Original equilateral. No clue. Is that the yes. Best? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see what I did? That was funny. What do you do? I spell take a letter. You know how to spell it? I think it's E-Q-A-Q-E-S. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I just see the face. He's like, oh! So I just did equal. Equal what? I won't. Miss Davis? She sent me some emails. Um, equilateral. Hey, how about that? Uh-huh, uh-huh. None of them are the same yeah, as the Well, you're going to get it now, Kirsten. I mean, there's two times in the same one. No. Yes. Yes. Right. That one looks angry. <laughs> what kind is it? You just said it. Well, that. Hey, now, what? Um, how do I know the two sides are the same on that? Two of them are marked the same. And I, I know that's baby stuff, but I want to make sure we cover it here. None of these are the same because none of them are marked the same. Okay? You can do that same thing with angles. You can put one mark, one mark to mean the same. As long as they're marked the same, they're the same. Okay? We're cooking, we're cooking. Got that covered. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're pausing on this, this right, and she's been answering and hasn't had time to write. I like it a lot. Okay, get back here now. So I'm sorry. Yeah. Here you go. Sorry. She's distracting me. Hey, Greg. Don't do it. <laughs> it's not real, Chase. Greg, you fell for it. <laughs> I'll stuff in that hole. Whoa. Hey, Kevin. 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 Hey,
Alright, so here's what we got in this figure triangles D, E, F, and G, H, I are similar. So we're going to push pause right there and talk about, I just said. talk about two things that have to happen in order for triangles to be similar. Number one, their angle measures have to be the same. Corresponding angles have to be the same for you to be similar. Other thing that we're going to look at on the next problem is that their sides have to be proportional. Not the same, but proportional. Angles same, sides proportional. So here we're dealing with angles, so let me go hit play again and read the rest of the question. Uh, figure triangles D, E, F, and G, H, I are similar. Find the measures of angles G and I. Oh, you good. Okay, so this one's marked the same as that one, so it's got to be 53. This one's marked the same as that one, so it's got to be 29. Nothing to it. Everybody good? I see. You, you just don't give yourself enough credit. You got it. All right, let's look at sides now. So I would call this my small triangle. I'm going to put it on this side. I don't know where to write that. And this would be my big triangle. I'm going to put it on that side. Okay. On my big triangle, I know I have to use 12 because that's the only measure I have over there. So go ahead and put 12 somewhere. You want to put it on top or bottom on the big side? Doesn't matter. Top bottom. Okay. Now, so I got to put the corresponding one from the small one on the bottom on the other side. So 12 will correspond with 8. So i got to put an 8 down there. Okay. Now decide, do you want to find green or yellow first? Yellow. So on the, on the other side, what corresponds to yellow? 12. So you've set your proportion up. Where's the 10? Where's the 10? Oh, we, we can only do one at a time. After we get this one answered, we'll have to go back and do it in a minute. Okay, so cross multiply, 144 equals 8y, divide by 8. What's 144 divided by 8? 16. C. 18. 18. 18. So yellow would be 18. Yeah. Like the easiest thing to do, but it's not right. Ever. All right, 
So I still want to know why we didn't use the 10 a minute ago. The 10 corresponds with the green. Now we're ready to find the green. When I get ready to set this up, do this one over here red this time, I'm still going to do my small triangle, my big triangle, and I want to use that 12 again. I could use the 18 if I wanted to, but what if I got 18 wrong and then I'm using it down here? I'm going to get my next answer wrong. So I'm going to stick with the one that they gave me so I know I didn't screw it up. Okay, 12 corresponds to 8 still, so i got to put an 8 in its matching spot. This time we're looking for this green side. So I'm going to put a G, and you're right, it corresponds with 10. So 10 times 12, 120, equals 8 times G. Solve for G, divided by 8. 120 divided by 8 is? 15. Say it again. 15. 15. Good job. I'm going to forget that. No, you're not. problem in this. You always have about flagpole shadows and tree shadows and leaning the ladder against the house. That's where these problems fit into. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, here's what we got here. We'll say, I don't know how to say the name they put in the book, so I'm going to say Mason wants to know the height of a tree in a park. What is the bottom of the tree? Oh, sorry. Okay, so there's my height of my tree that we're looking for. Okay, Mason wants to know the height of a tree in a park near his home. The tree cast a 38 foot shadow. Okay, this measurement's a little off. Mason, who's 63 inches tall, Mason's taller than 5'3, but we'll go with it. Don't put this pair there. <laughs> Ooh, you got a ball spot. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> who is 63 inches tall, he cast a shadow that is 42 inches. So we're going to have to change this. Very good. First thing you got to do is make a conversion because my tree's in feet and Mason's measurements are in inches, so we got to be the same. It doesn't matter. There's not one that's more correct than the other. I think there's one that's easier. Because if I try to put these in feet... I'm going to be partial, right? So I can put this in inches and have a big whole number. So tell me 38 times 12 and how many inches is that? How do you get from 38 times 12 to inches? I'm going to have to give Chase and Uncle Sam a chapter class. All right, one thing that was key, I didn't finish reading the problem, but one thing that was key was it said, uh, Mason will sell the out of the tree, the park, the tree casts the shadow at the same time as Mason's shadow is that long. So that means at the same time means the sun is at the same angle. So these are producing the same angles, which means they're similar, which allows us to set a proportion of it. If the tree shadow was here at 5 o'clock and Mason's was here at 1 o'clock, they might not be proportional because the sun would have moved, so the angles would have been different. Okay, uh, I'm going to keep the tree stuff on one side. I'm going to keep Mason's stuff on the other side. You want Mason's height or Mason's shadow to be on the top? Shadow. Okay, that was weird, but that's good. Now, since she put do what? Since since she put the shadow of Mason on top, the shadow of the tree has to go on top. And I don't know how tall the tree is. All right, I'm definitely gonna need some help on this. 456 times 63. Is that right? I would have to guess bigger, but okay. 38 times. Whoa, whoa. Oh, wrong. Hold on. GT! Uh, My name is sorry, I, I looked at the 28,728. Now we're good. Equals 42x. So divide by 42. 684. So my tree is 684 inches tall. Okay, got to do something 
Inches to feet, 684 inches. Divide that by 12. So my tree is also 684 inches is 57 feet tall. That's a pretty good size tree. 57 feet tall. Pretty good stuff. Good job. Okay. I like that lesson. I'm not a big geometry person. I, I would not be a good geometry teacher. But that kind of geometry is okay. I like that stuff. That was pretty easy. But I've been telling you since we started this angle stuff yesterday that we're working up to trig stuff. And Mondays when we start with our sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, cotangent. So that will be on the plate for Monday. It, it is. It is. People just get scared of it. Okay? Everybody good? No, this is one first, so I'll let y'all off the hook. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna.